There's now a change on the way and some important news for stargazers. That's right. We have the annual Orionid meteor showers, which have been going on for some time, but they are at their peak tonight. Some of us will see them because there is going to be a lot of cloud for others. Mark Rutley took this early morning picture in Petworth Park in West Sussex. Thanks to Mike Ludwig. He photographed a cat enjoying the warm sun at Kingston Lacey in Dorset. And Ken Rayner took this picture of Cobbler's Lock on the Kennet and Avon Canal in Hungerford. A beautiful day today, but it's all changed tomorrow with rain on the cards. Overnight tonight, we will see clear skies, so some of us will see the Orionid meteor shower. And it has been going on since the 16th of October, but it will go on until the 30th. Tonight is its peak. We could see around 10 to 20 metres in an hour for some seeing, seeing the clear skies and away from any light pollution. So from the 16th right up until the 30th, you may see those meteor showers. Through the course of tonight, we will have a few clear spells, more likely the further east you are with increasing cloud for western areas and a band of patchy rain starting to push in by dawn tomorrow. Temperatures tonight will initially drop away, but by dawn they'll be up to around 9 to 10 Celsius. So it will be a wet start for some tomorrow in east-west divide initially, and then the rain will spread across much of the region throughout the morning so it will be a wet rush hour drive to work the rain clearing western areas by the afternoon but some hill mist may develop and temperatures tomorrow despite the cloud and rain will reach a high of 13 to 14 celsius with a southwesterly breeze so a few showers tomorrow night some low cloud mist and fog in places outbreaks of rain are a possibility so temperatures will be up to around 12 to 13 celsius so quite a mild night to come tomorrow night certainly milder than it will be tonight. The rain will affect us first thing on Thursday morning, but it will be an improving picture. This cold front moves its way south and eastwards through the course of the day. The icy bars start to widen, so the winds will become lighter and we will start to see some bright or sunny spells, perhaps more cloud than sunshine. So as we look ahead to the rest of the week, there will be a fair amount of cloud each day, but we are expecting some sunny spells. Rain tomorrow could be heavy at times, particularly through the afternoon. There will be some dry periods with a brisk southwesterly wind. Thursday will have a lot of cloud. It's a mainly dry day after a, a damp start and some sunny spells will develop on Friday, but rain is expected on Saturday. Tom. Alexis, thank you very much. Very autumnal, isn't it? Yes. Uh, thank you very much for being there tonight. Uh, Sally is back in the hot seat uh, tomorrow. Uh, we're back later on tonight with bulletins at 8 and 10.25. We shall see you then. Bye-bye. Good night.